Hello and welcome to Straight Talk Africa live from the Voice of America studios in Washington. It's Wednesday, February 24th. I'm Esther Gidui Ewart. Today we'll talk about the Ugandan election results as tension remains high following last week's presidential election in which long-serving president Yoweri Museveni was declared the winner. And coming up later in our STA inbox, our audience has weighed in on our topic through emails and Facebook comments. And we'll reveal some of them ahead on Straight Talk Africa. Uganda's Electoral Commission declared President Yoweri Museveni as the official winner of the 2016 Ugandan presidential election. But the country's main opposition party, the Forum for Democratic Change, has rejected Mr. Museveni's victory. VOA's Paul Ndiho has our report. Uganda's long-time leader, President Yoweri Museveni, won a disputed presidential election last Saturday, cementing his 30-year hold on power in the East African nation. His win comes amid the heavy criticism of the voting process by the local and international observers. General Museveni won nearly 61% of the vote, while his main challenger, Kiza Vesige, secured 35% according to the Ugandan Electoral Commission Chairman, Badru Chigundu. Bringing more than 50% of the valid votes cast at the election, the Commission declares Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, the elected president of the Republic of Uganda, at the presidential election held on 18th February 2016. Edward Kukan, a chief observer of the European Union mission, criticized the ballot process and says the election was conducted in an intimidating atmosphere and that the nation's electoral commission is not independent. According to our assessment, the electoral commission lacks independence, transparency and the trust of the stakeholders. It narrowly interpreted its mandate by limiting it to the organization of the technical aspects of the elections. Moreover, the Commission lacked transparency in its decision and failed to inform the voters and contestants on key elements of the electoral process in a timely and comprehensive manner. Observers are also questioned the government's motive in deploying security forces throughout the country during and after the elections. The government says that it did so to ensure a peaceful outcome. But uh, some voters uh, dispute that, saying that the government was trying to intimidate them. Seven has not won. The election has not been fair, free and fair. The election has been, they have brought army here, policemen here. They, they are trying to, they are trying to threaten people here. Opposition leader Chiza Vesige, who has been detained multiple times since the election results were announced, has now called on his supporters to protest at the election. If the regime continues to restrict me, to detain me in my home, illegal as it is, I call upon all of you citizens to protest this. At the very minimum, let us also stop them from moving. Our people should remain firm, should remain strong. This is our country. The opposition had tried to tap into mounting support among young voters, especially in urban areas where unemployment is high and they are frustrated by the poor state of schools and hospitals. But the ruling National Resistance Movement Party says Museveni's victory shows that the opposition failed to offer any serious alternative governing plan, apart from empty promises. Although President Yori Museveni, 71, has presided over a period of strong economic growth, he is accused by critics at home and abroad of repressing dissent through intimidation and failing to tackle rampant corruption in a nation of 37 million people. Paul Ndiho, VOA News.